It's not exactly the space shuttle being moved to its launch pad. Come around me. But there is just as much excitement and preparation. We need one more to hold it. The UMES Reach for the Stars camp is only moments away from launching a balloon expected to climb 100,000 feet into the air. Five, four, three, two, one. And off it goes, carrying five experiments, all helping to track the balloon's flight, all touched by some student know-how. Did, did a lot of work going yeah, to putting you know, this whole like, thing together, did, getting to today? Uh, Chris, I got really, feels good, everything worked out smoothly, everything went great. It was so blessed, I mean, we're learning a lot, and like, just a whole bunch of fun. Located at the University of Rome, Eastern Shore. Uh, in Princess Anne, this is Whisper. That fun also includes tracking the balloon. Amateur radio operators as far as Connecticut are picking up signals from the balloon's gear. And the onboard student-built cricket set, which pinpoints temperature and location, is also being tracked by computer. This is great. It's just fantastic. Uh, I've always enjoyed science and engineering. And when certain teachers through my uh, middle school and high school would just set off a little light. That wasn't always true. So when I see that light going off on some of these kids, that's a really good feeling. It's also a good feeling for UMES, Easter Seals, NASA, and the Tri-County Council, who hope to use this experience to get more women, minorities, and people with disabilities into science and math. Uh, I'd like to be a scientist. So, so maybe I'd like to be an engineer because I like to work with things. It's actually pretty fun because you get to meet new people and the, diff and the stuff that you do is lots of hands-on activities. As for the launch, winds carried the balloon into Delaware for a smooth landing and also carried the futures of young students into the world of science. For Discover UMES, I'm Jason Newton.